Solomon Malangu was born in Pretoria in 10 July in 1956. He was the second son of Martha Malangu. His father left him in 1962 and from then on, only saw him infrequently. His mother was a domestic worker and took sole responsibility for his upbringing. He attended Mamelodi High School up to Standard 8 but did not complete his schooling as a result of the school closure due to ongoing riots. He joined African National Congress ANC in September 1976 and fled to Mozambique and spent six months in a refugee camp near Sai Sai. From there he was taken to an African National Congress ANC training camp called Engineering in Angola. There and at Fanta Camp he received training in sabotage, military combat, scouting and politics. George, Malango and Motland were then taken to Swaziland, where they were given large suitcases filled with pamphlets, rifles, and hand grenades. On 11 June 1977, they crossed the border into South Africa and started making their way to Johannesburg. The three comrades in arms, each carrying a large suitcase, were crimping into a tax in a diagonal street in the center of Johannesburg. An ordinary policeman became suspicious and grabbed one of the suitcases. An AK-47 assault rifle and hand grenade fell out. All three of them fled. Solomon Malangu in one direction and other two in the direction of Fortsburg. There in Gold Street, the two sought refuge in the storage facilities of the retailer John Orris. One of them opened fire on the employees of the company, killing two and wounding another two of them. Malangu and Motang were eventually arrested. Malangu's trial started in the Supreme Court on 7 November of 1977. He was defended by two advocates, Mess Ismail Muhammad and Clifford Mailer. They faced two counts of murder, two counts of attempted murder, and various counts under the Terrorism Act. In its judgment, the court found that Malangu and Mautang had acted with a common purpose and that it consequently did not matter which of the two did the shooting and killing. Malangu was convicted on all counts. In terms of the South African law, the court was obliged to sentence and accused to death for murder unless the accused proved mitigating circumstances. The court found that Malangu had failed to do so and consequently handed down the hanging death sentence on 2 March 1978. The court refused Malangu leave to appear. Malangu and Motlang were brutally abused while in police custody. The police detained them under the 19 days detention law giving the time to fabricate a case against the pair. Before the trial could commence, Motlang was so badly beaten that he sustained several brain damage. Clinical psychologist Anna Venta declared Motlang unfit to stand trial. Malangu's mother and brother, not knowing what was happening, were taken to see him. Solomon Malangu and his mother stood in silence looking at each other, and eventually Solomon Malangu asked his mother how the family was doing. She answered that they were all right. But after another period of silence, she broke into a flood of tears. Solomon Malangu then asked his mother, Why are you crying in front of these peoples? I don't care what they'll do to me. And if they spill my blood, maybe it will give birth to other Solomons. My blood will nourish the fruits of freedom. Tell my people that I love them and must continue the fight. Malangu was hanged on 6 April of 1979. 